Hello. In this video, I'm explaining the first lesson in macroeconomic circular flow of income, standard 12, CBSE syllabus. So to understand the circular flow of income, we need to know what are factors of production. Land, labor, capital and enterprise. These four are called factors of production. So land is needed to install the missionaries, to function. Then labor, people are needed to operate the uh, missionaries to make products. Capital, you need investment on all this. An enterprise, you need an organization to care of, to take care of these four. So these factors of production are supplied by the households to the firms. Then firms return the goods and services to the households. So this is an exchange between households and firms. From households you find factors of production. From firms you find goods and services. This circular flow of income in what three phases. Generation of income, distribution of income, disposition of income. So generation of income, the firms making goods and services and it is distributing to the households. And households in turn spending on or buying the goods and services from the firms. So this is the circle. This is a cycle. So you find generation of income there from firms and distribution of income to the households. Then households disposition of income. So you find goods and services are produced, then again they are consumed by the households. So this is what meant by circular flow of income. Then production, income, expenditure. This is the circular flow of income. To go further, we need to know two terms, stock and flow. These two terms are very frequently used in macroeconomics. So what is stock? It's a stock variable. It refers to a variable which is measured at a particular point of time. For example, population of India as on this day, this year. So that is what meant by stock. It has no time dimension. For example, when you say how many cycles are stored in a godam. So as on this date, there are 500 cycles stored in a godam. This is what meant by stock. This is static. Then what is flow? The variable which is measured over a period of time. Its magnitude is measured over a period of time, the time can be a day or a week or a month or a year. This is dynamic. Example number of births during 2018. So it is distributed over the period of time that is a year. So these are the differences between stock and flow. Based on that, the other less you will be dealing with other lessons. Next, what, is, what are the types of circular flow? So, one is real flow, the other one is money flow. This real flow involves the supply of factors of production and distribution of goods and services, households and firms. Households supplying the factors of production and firms supplying goods and services to households. So this is what real flow. It is like, this is a barter system. You find. This real flow is known as physical flow. And it does not involve money. Here, the other type is money flow. So money flow in, uh, involves payments. Real flow does not involve payment. Here the money flow involves payments, which is otherwise called nominal flow. So here the households supply goods and, uh, sorry, factors of production to the firms and firms 
supplying goods and services in the form of payments. The firm is paying to the households, which is paid the factors of production taken by the firms from households are paid. Rent, wages, profit. So this is what payments. Then what the households, what do they do? They get the income and they spend on buying the goods and services produced by the firms. So there you have find consumption. So here expenditure. From firms to households, you find income, payments. From households, the money is spent on the goods and services. So the, here you find payments, consumption involved, income, expenditure involved. And here also you find households and firms. The money is involved. So these are the differences between the real flow of in income and money flow of income.